First of all, uh, news coming out today, we do have crude oil inventories at 1030, and unemployment claims comes out tomorrow for gold at 830, so heads up on that. Other than that, we have no important news coming out this week. So uh, crude oil inventories at 1030, we'll go over that, and then we have unemployment claims for gold tomorrow at 830. So let's get moving here this morning. First of all, the first thing we look at, uh, we're on crude oil right now. The first thing we look at is the trend. We want to log in any market we trade. It doesn't matter what markets we trade. You trade crude, gold, S&P 500 futures. You can trade stocks, currency. It doesn't matter what you trade. This works on all future stocks and currency markets. It's the same exact methodology. It's been working for almost 32 years now, and it still is working today. If you look at the trend, we log in. We want to find out the trend. First thing we do, I don't care about market profile. I don't care about market delta. I want to find out if I'm going to be a net buyer or a net seller. You'll get 50% halfway there if you understand the direction of the market. The market, remember, to, for a refresher for you guys and gals, can only do two things. It can go vertical or it can go sideways. Yesterday we had beautiful sell the high, buy the low, then the breakdown, then the huge short on crude. It was just gorgeous. I'll show you that in a second. But when you are angled up, the most important uh, way to find trend, only two ways, to look, only two things you can do, vertical or sideways, is look at this magenta or this uh, magenta moving average right here. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. Uh, they, they fail on support and resistance. They're worthless to me for support and resistance. I do like them for uh, trend direction, though. Uh, the white one's not as important. I like it angled with or spread apart with the long, longer term, but the longer term is the most important. It takes you a half, a half a nano of a second to realize if you're a net buyer or a net seller. And if it's angled up, you need to be a net buyer. And that's just, that's just how it is, especially if you are outside of this white chart and value. We were outside of value right here, outside of value. Above the red, you never want to short above the red. You never want to buy below the green because you're counter trend trading the market. So we are net buyers, so we're in an uptrend. The easy way to do then is get rotations above outside of market profile and then take a ABC long. So what we're going to do and what we, what's been working for 32 years is you crack outside of market profile, you look for that first retracement, and that's going to give you an ABC long. That first retracement, once it cracks back down, that's a nice, beautiful ABC long. You want to look for market delta to give you a positive market delta once you come down to the support level. Now, what you have here is you broke out a high value area. If you're in an uptrend, my methodology states you got three shots in an uptrend, three shots. Your three shots at, at an uptrend will be if you are angled up, you want to buy LVA down here. So we want to be a buyer down here at LVA today. You want to be a buyer of the control point. And you want to be a buyer of the HVA, which you just did. It's come down to the second test of it right here. So you got three shots at in an uptrend. Oops. You can buy the LVA. You can buy the control point, which is the most volume is traded in any given market. And you can buy that break retest of the HVA. The one thing you do not want to do in an uptrend, you do not want to sell high value area, the, the red. You do not want to sell this. Let it break through. This is where amateur traders get caught quite a bit from traders I've talked to across the world for many years. They read all these market profile books and it says sell high value area. That's major resistance. That's resistance, but not in an uptrend. My methodology is totally different than a lot of these guys teach and gals teach. I don't want to sell high value. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know not to sell high value, even though it's resistance right here, two times resistance. I got my long-term LVA, my small little dots right there that call the high up here. That's why right in the room, live up here at 4901, I said, make sure you scale, get out of contracts right there. It called the high. How did I know that? How did I project that? is I have a high probability right there, two times resistance, sure enough, caught the high. So we want to make sure we play off these market profile levels. If the trend is up, I want to let it break, I want to let it rotate back down, and I'm going to try to take an ABC long. 
So you're going to get three shots at it. If you're running uptrend, you want to buy LVA when it comes within a couple ticks, look for positive market delta over here. When we broke out a high value and rotated back down, look at the market delta. Turn positive 324. Your entry on that last trade. In fact, who got that oil trade, by the way? Anybody take the oil trade? 89 fill, got as high as 03. Who, who got the oil trade? Who took that trade on that setup? That's a first retracement outside of HVA break retest. You must take those trades on the first break retest outside of HVA on the black chart because you're catching the wrongly positioned traders. So you're allowed to take the second test coming up. You're allowed to take the second test coming up. And then after the second test of HVA, you want to sit. You cannot take any more trades after the first test of the overall setup. Okay? So you got the first test, the second test, you avoid third test, third test trades. So just remember, the easy way to look at all these markets, and then this is all markets, I don't care what you look at, Dow Minis, NASDAQ Futures, Russell 2000, they're all the same setup. Market profile has not changed. These are volume, the most important are the big, solid blue, red, and green lines. You play off of them. So what you want to do is when you break outside, this is major resistance it broke out of, huge resistance. I got two times market profile right there. My LVA, my small little dots, LVA, my solid volume profile, came up to the control point up here, my long-term control, stopped it within a couple ticks, had a retracement, positive market delta. So that's the first test. Second test coming down to it, you have another shot at it, and that will be the last shot you get. So you can trade off these solid blue, red, and green, and if you get these dots, these small price profiles that overlap them in a couple ticks, which you did here, you can use that for confluence. All right, but the simple way to do it, if I'm in an uptrend, here's what it looks like. I can break retest HVA. I can break retest control point. Remember, you do not trade the control point, the blue line, in a flat market. That's another setup. There's three shots at an uptrend you have, and that's been working for 32 years. Same way. Three shots. There's one, two, and your last shot will be if it comes down in an uptrend and you break all the way down to LVA and come down to LVA to a couple ticks, there's your third, that's the third shot you get at a trade setup. So those are the only three shots you get in an uptrend. And don't make this difficult. That's how market order flow works with market profile. It's been working since 1985. So for 32 years, the same exact setups happen. If, because what happened is my, 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 my strategy will pick up this break of these volume profiles and retest of them. It will let you know where the high probability trades are. So you only get three shots. Let me reiterate. You get three shots in an uptrend with market profile. Three shots. The first break retest or the first test in market profile is the best. The second test you're allowed to take. The third test you want to avoid. Okay? So the next setup I'll look for then is this. If I break through my control point, all right, it doesn't take the smartest bear in the woods to realize I'm in an uptrend. So I need to break out. I need to retest that dual resistance. And I need to go try to go along with positive market delta. Where's my target? 49.38. So that will be my next setup. If I break outside after the second, I have a second possible test coming right now, a second possible buy coming right now. But after that, the only other shot you have, and this is the only shot we have, we're going to have to break through the long-term control, retest the control, and then we go to 38. Okay? So other than that, we don't have any other setups because you've got three shots in an uptrend. Break retest control, break retest HVA, or test of LVA. And now I don't care what market you look at, that happens every single day, every single week, in all markets. It's going to do one of those three. It's going to test LVA, it's going to break retest the control, or break retest the HVA in an uptrend. If it's in a downtrend, it's the opposite. I won't buy LVA. I'm smarter than that. I'm not going to buy LVA in a downtrend. Let's say this is reversed. What I'll do in LVA if it's in a downtrend, if we're in a downtrend, we'll break retest short right here. 
See if it's in a downtrend, see what it does? It broke LVA, retested it, and got cranked yesterday. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to then sell HVA, caught the high yesterday, bought the low, sell the high, caught HVA for that huge run to the downside. So it's just the opposite. You get three shots in a downtrend, and you got three shots in an uptrend. And once you understand how that works, you'll do very, very well because it's order flow. Okay? That's all we have to do.